In an effort to control bush honeysuckle over the past several years in southern Illinois, we've come up with an effective system that you can do any time of the year with fall and winter being the best time with cooler temperatures and no leaves or berries on the plants. On pencil size or smaller, you can usually pull them out. On larger, up to about one inch, we use a three inch Sears Craftsman lopper and over one inch, we use a bow saw or chainsaw. After cutting, we apply Tordon RTU herbicide to the cut stump within 30 minutes, which will kill the plant and the stump will rot away or can be easily removed in about a year. The cut tops are put on piles and can be left for cover or burned in about a year. For maintenance, as new sprouts come up, we spray with Roundup or a generic glyphosate with dye in it in the spring and fall with backpack sprayers. This is the equipment we've used in the process. On the three inch lopper and bow saw, we've added bright colored tapes. You can find them more easily after you set them down. With the chainsaw, we use chaps, gloves, hearing, and eye protection. We use Tordon RTU herbicide, which is blue in color, so you can see where you've applied it. And we apply it to the cut stump with a Kiwi tennis shoe cleaner bottle. The bottle has a plunger in it that lets you control the amount you put on, will not spill out if you drop it. We've added bright tape, so it's easier to find in the leaves and snow and any slip tape to make it more e easier to grab. We carry it in a holder made out of a plastic gold peak tea bottle with a carabiner attached to it clipped to a belt loop. Backpack sprayer has padding glued to it, shoulder pads, sternum strap, and a hip belt added which makes it more comfortable to wear. We add highlight blue dye to the Roundup or generic glyphosate mix which helps to see where you've sprayed. These are stumps that are about two years old and you can see we left them up a little bit when we were cutting them with the chainsaw so we didn't get the blade down in the dirt but they break off real easy. Here we're spraying in an area that was done two or three years ago for maintenance. This is an area we just cut two to three weeks ago. And this is an area that we're working into. We hope this video and information will help you in controlling your bush honeysuckle.